Shut up and sit down. Hello, is anybody here? Somebody pour me a bloody drink, you bastards. Hello everybody and welcome back to Games from the Attic and here we are with another episode of Let's Play Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Now we've made it back down to the village and now all that's left to do really is explore I guess. Don't really, what the hell is that? Don't really know what the objective is or if there even is an objective. Okay, that's a bike. What's going on here? The voice of the stars. Okay. What is up with these numbers? What do they mean? Do they mean anything? Are they just numbers? Well, I know they're just numbers, but... Is there a reasoning for these numbers? Can I check out in this little shed? And if anybody is watching this that is actually from the UK or over there in Europe and I'm offending them with my impersonations I apologize not my intention but you have to admit that girl in the last episode did sound a lot like that do not attempt to leave you will be detained do not attempt to telephone outside your local area Quarantine. This area has been quarantined and sealed off as, as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. 1982? What year is this? Please keep your radio on at all times for further information issued by the District Emergency Measures Committee. And this place is locked up nice and tight, so I can't go in there. I'm still getting used to the... Uh, mechanics, I guess. The interactive mechanics. You have to like press X and then like move as if like you're actually moving it. You can't just press X and like the door swing open or anything. Okay, I guess I'm gonna check what's over here. It's a beautiful garden. What is that? Is that a greenhouse or something? I really don't know. Can't go in there. I'm going to try to be as thorough as possible because I don't want to miss anything. Can't go in there either. Uh, okay, well. Is this place locked up? Probably, but maybe not. I'm going to be trying go. Oh, oh it opened. Cool. Oh, no, 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 no. I must enter. Thank you. I'm going to be trying to... Oh, shit. Exploring as much as possible. Open up the cabinets. No fridge. Oh. What the? Oh. I was like, how am I doing that? <gasps> it's magic. I am a sorcerer. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Okay. So I can interact with light switches and the microwave. Interesting. Oven. Sink. Might not be any running water, I don't know. I don't know why there wouldn't be if the microwave still works. The lights still work. What did I just click? Is that the phone? What is that noise? It's those numbers again. I feel like they're going to have some importance, but I don't know what. Little birds and where to find them. M.W. Hope. It's interesting. Can I play the piano? I cannot. I was for sure I'd be able to interact with that. Some creepy... Whoa. It's another one of those lights. Okay. Well, I'm going to try Hello? to explore... What the hell? Hello? Oh, Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We, we tried. We did try. What the hell but is going on? They closed all the roads and you can't get through. And and then George and Ben said they had headaches. And then they started bleeding. And, but it was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around and, um, and we saw the house was open. And 
I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids and... And then Dean and I started bleeding as well. And hey. It is all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. That's horrific. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired and Neil said we could take a nap in the bed. And Neil we thought Barbara wouldn't mind as they're only children. And, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. What? I never came back down. What the hell happened? Just be too frightened to go alone. Oh my god. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. <laughs> yeah. I think I could manage that, yes. Please help me. Of course I'll help you. This is crazy. Uh, Neil? I guess. Neil, are you there? I guess if I can, I'm gonna follow him. Oh, did they just disappear? Well, I'm gonna go up there in a minute. Okay, so there was some sort of sickness, I think. Yeah, look, a bloody napkin or rag or something. There was some sort of disease or sickness that when it was going around. I think they said it was like a flu or something. But that still doesn't explain why everybody disappeared. I mean, there was all that talk about... I don't know why, but I feel like I want to close this door. There was all that talk about something coming in through the phones and using our technology to become stronger. Like, see, these people were getting ready to leave. I think some sickness broke out here and everybody was trying to leave, but they got quarantined. And then something happened. I have no idea. Just going on speculation at this point. Oh, God, I hope I don't find anything weird in here. It's all dusty in here. This game is still really pretty. Toy. God, that's sad. <sighs> Two mommy or mommy. Bloody napkins in the kids' room. I'm guessing this is the kids' room. I knew this was going to be a very emotional game. It's probably only going to get worse from here. But that's why I wanted to do all this exploring. It's really going to be worth it, learning about everything. Say no to Valis extension. Is a seventh tower really necessary? To register your complaints, add your name to the petition, or make your voice heard, contact Barbara Foster at the something I don't know okay so there's a petition for this Vallas place I think Barbara was that one sparkly thing that we saw before I gotta come up with a name for these things Sparkadoodles that's what I'm calling them Sparkadoodles she was one of those Sparkadoodles on the road the one that I said uh, sounds like my impersonation there's soldiers everywhere with guns I don't know if I can do oh, damn it the remix yo okay anyways I don't know if I can do a male accent I guess I'll have to try I don't that this doesn't work I gotta do it like this I don't know why I don't think I need to go back in the bar can I do anything with those or are they just flying around I don't think they're trying to show me anything Guess I'll go check out this park or whatever it is. Can I just walk through the water? It's not gonna let me walk in the water really. What the hell is that? What the fuck? Is that like a legit missile or bomb or something? Why would that be there? Can I walk from here? Okay. What the hell happened here? There's still a lot I just don't get or understand, which is, I'm sure, the point. Is there blood on that? Or is that mud? It's probably dirt or mud or something. Okay, I can hear the laughter of children. Well, can I swing this thing? That's kind of cool. 
Oh, oh crap, can I get it? Okay, there we go. Can I like pull it? No, not really. Okay. I will say it is very unnerving not having anybody around. Yachten and Tipworth Stargazers Club. Young and old amateur approach for everyone. Contact Graham at the Vallis Observatory or drop by the Village Hall. Okay. So were a lot of these people that were working with us just in the club and they weren't like scientists or anything maybe? And I'm guessing the Vallis, is that what it is? Vallis Observatory is the place up at the top of the hill which is where I worked or something. Emergency meeting, everyone is welcome. Village Hall, shut up you damn kids, I can't read when you're being so loud. Everyone is welcome. Village Hall tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Flu quarantine. What they are, what they are not telling us. Call Meg or Barb if you have any. Um, you're invading my personal space. You spark a doodle. Excuse you. Summer, something wanted. Blah blah blah. Say no to Vallis. Peter Pan. Oh, cool. Another rendition of Peter Pan. Put your thinking caps on, it's Yacht and Quiz Night. Okay, well, none of that matters now. Well, that's kind of a bleak thought. Nothing matters now. I mean, if there are no people to do anything, what if I really am the only one left? That's you know, a bleak they, uh, thought. Whoa. see me as an outsider here as well. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? Didn't I understand expect it's that. difficult. That's all I'm saying. Your lot up at Vallis have never mixed with the local community. <laughs> People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Lovely day. Oh, hello. Uh, Barbara. Mrs. Appleton. Mrs. Appleton. It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next. Good morning, Barbara. Father, we know. You really okay. think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. They just stay out of my way. Alright, so the people here didn't really like me too much. Probably because I'm a big fancy scientist with my degree, I guess. I don't know. Them damn numbers again. Um... Jeez, I really hate that I can't run, and I'm afraid I'm just wasting time walking into these random yards, but I would have I never... Looking, what the hell? It makes no sense. The area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed, like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. Okay. See, you just don't know. I would have never expected that would have been over here. And I never would have expected to have a scene over there by the entrance to here. Is that a horse? Or, oh, it's just a bench or something. The silhouette of it kind of looked like a horse or a cow or something. Sparkadoodle, which way do I go? I don't really want to go all the way down this way yet because I haven't got to explore all the houses over here. What I might do is just go down the row over here and then kind of peel back around and see what's over here. I'm gonna try not to pass up anything. Doesn't look like I, I can go anywhere from over there, but there's places down that way. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, well, now it looks like I can go that way. Um, okay, it looks like there's something over here. I want to go check it out. Another one of these. Into the void, I suppose. What are you doing? I saw you, I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. Look, get off the road, Sam. Stop it. You weedy little shit. Give it's mine. Can. Give me the can. can. Stop it. I need it. Grow up! What happened? Oh God, no. It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. What did they see? Stephen, come back! Oh Christ! He just ran through me. Whoa! Are you dangerous? 
They're scared of you for some reason. Little spark -a doodle Okay. Well, from what that guy said, the guy who used to work with Kate, he seemed to think or knew there was something going through the electrical wires, maybe. Maybe it's those lights. I don't know. I don't really know what they saw that spooked him so bad. Gonna go check back over here. I might make these videos a little bit longer. I'm not sure because it takes a while to get stuff done in this, and I don't want to make videos that don't have enough content in them. That would just be lame and not worth it. It all just depends, really. Can I go this way? Okay, I can't go over here. Okay. Most places aren't accessible. I've noticed that, but... I'm uh, gonna try to access everywhere just in case I miss or just in case I don't miss anything oh, excuse me let's see can I go back this way locked okay this would go so much faster if I could just run but I suppose that would also allow me to run past stuff I might need to see this place is kind of big. It's a lot bigger than I kind of expected. Beautiful flowers. Is that a doorbell? Can't ring the doorbell. I suppose there wouldn't be anybody home. This is open though. What? I thought it was. It, I don't know. Maybe the way I was walking at it, it kind of looked like it was opened a little bit. So I guess I'll check out, is that the church maybe? I'll check out the church, that house. I'll go back around that way and check out all those houses. Or maybe I'll go up the hill. Maybe the hill, hill will curve around. That house looks like I can explore it. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the church maybe, I really don't know. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. What the hell are you doing? You're doing some weird shit. Why are you freaked out that I'm over here? Oh, I can go over here. Let me check this out real quick. Something different. Taxi. Same shit that was on the other side, I think. No. Oh, oh. Open. Well, I guess I can just press X on some stuff. I don't know, it's weird. I don't think those doors were open before. Were they? Not for sure. Okay, let's go see what this place is all about. This, is this where they held the meeting, maybe? What about the station? That's shut down too. So there's no way in or out of the valley. They're obviously serious about this flu thing. Phil doesn't think it's flu at all. He said he's been practicing medicine for 30 years and he's seen plenty of flu and he said this doesn't feel right at all. Well, Phil sounds like a smart fellow. Any use on the radio. Sorry, I'm late. Everyone, have you started? Yes, but to be honest... Yes, you're late as hell. Discuss. This quarantine is in place. There's roadblocks and everything. No one really seems to know anything, but people are definitely missing. More of them too, not just a couple of old biddies. No one's seen the Sullivan since yesterday and the house is just sitting there unlocked. I just got back from the farm. All of Frank's cows died in the night. He's devastated. Poor man. Hasn't he had enough for one year? First Mary and now this. Well, if no one's coming in to sort this mess out, we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Barbara, get Phil to do a stock take on medication. Rise up, brothers and sisters. Can you put the word out for people to congregate at the village hall. It's best we get everyone in one place for the time being. Good. I'll organize supplies. We'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. There's plenty at the depot, but well, let's start with what's here in the village. I'll draw up a rotor. Charlie, you help me with that? Anything for you, Meg. I'll head out to the valley and scoop up the isolated families and check in with Lizzie Graves at the camp. Now, has anyone seen or heard anything from Stephen Appleton or his wife? Okay, what the hell is a rotor? I have no idea. Okay, so they were getting a little bit restless, a little bit worried. They knew they weren't being told something. Maybe they rose the power. They took up arms and killed everybody. No, I don't know. Okay. This is a giant ant. Okay, I... 
the thing is, like, what if I was at some point around in the, that field and something happened? Something was triggered. I, I just won't know until I go in there, but I, who wants to walk the length of a football field? Literally, I'm assuming that was a football field. I wasn't really paying attention. Son of a bitch. Don't make me do it. Open, says me. What the hell is that? Is that a pair of titties, a pretzel, an infinity sign, uh, testicles? What is this? Oh, I don't look like no testicles I ever seen. I don't know what that is. Alright. There's probably nothing out here. There's probably no reason for doing this. Well, it looks like there's something sitting out there. Might as well go check it out. Probably nothing important. Waste of my damn time. My very valuable time. It's just a football and some towels, it looks like. Michelle? Mitchell? That's not how you spell my name. Where did people sit when they came to watch football? I don't understand this. Did they just stand there and watch? I have no idea. Maybe this was just for recreational use, actually. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? I have no idea. Okay, well, anyways, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, we didn't get much done, but that's the pace of the game, it seems like, is that it's meant to be taken slow and steady. So, I don't want to cram too much into one episode. This video probably is a little bit longer. I really have no idea. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully we'll see some more stuff in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe if you like the content. I hope you guys are enjoying the new series. I know I am. And I hope you guys check out the next episode. Bye.